The snow may be gone, but the impacts are still being felt. Heavy snowfall back in January damaged several exhibits at the Niabi Zoo and could delay their opening this spring. TV6's Kyle Bales met with the director at the zoo today and joins us now to share the extent of the damage. Yeah, Brianna, now it's been a month since 25 and a half inches of snow fell in the Quad Cities in just one week. And for Niabi Zoo, many of the enclosures containing animals were unable to withstand the weight of all that snow. The weight brought them down, bent steel, uh, collapsed roofs, collapsed exhibits. Uh, it's pretty dramatic uh, damage that was, that was done out here at the zoo. Last month, Niabi Zoo experienced the highest one-week snowfall in its history, which led to significant damage from many of its animal exhibits. We took immediate action uh, where it was clear that we had to do something and moved animals to other areas. Engineers were called in to quickly determine which structures were deemed safe or not for both animals and staff. We moved a lot of animals, a lot of them very dangerous animals, safely without any injury to people or to animals into new safe areas in a very short time. So I'm very proud of that. The evacuation of these animals is no easy task and Jackson credits the staff for getting it done. The skill and professionalism of the, the animal and maintenance staff here at Niabi is second to none. Although the snow has melted and remaining animals continue to roam, Jackson says it will take months to rebuild the damaged facilities and get the zoo back to at least normal capacity. We're going to move forward and uh, we're going to fix things and make things even better for people when they come back. Now, Jackson tells me there are only a handful of people in North America that know how to properly build enclosures for these particular animals, and they won't be available until summer. He says the structures will be demolished the next few weeks and that an opening date for Niabi Zoo has yet to be determined. You can help Niabi Zoo by visiting their website and making a donation, where you can also stay up to date on reopening plans this